Hello, I'm Richard Murphy with Software Networks, and today we're going to be reviewing the Morpheus Cloud Management Platform. We're going to briefly take a look at where Morpheus appears in Gartner's Magic Quadrant, and then we're going to jump right into a walkthrough of Morpheus. As you can see, Morpheus is well positioned in the Magic Quadrant, and this is due to the fact that their vision of hybrid cloud management and the rich support for automation and DevOps combine to make a very robust platform that integrates and manages a long list of cloud platforms and DevSecOps tools. Let's go ahead and jump into Morpheus and take a look around. When you first log into Morpheus, you're greeted with the Operations Dashboard. This is kind of a view into all of the running services and VMs and hosts and instances and applications that you have managed by Morpheus. It also can list some discovery of items that are unmanaged that maybe were created outside of the Morpheus platform, and it gives you some insight into those as well. As you can see here in our lab, we have a few instances running in different clouds. Speaking of clouds, that's one of the many integrations that Morpheus offers is multi-cloud integration. So let's hop over to the clouds page and take a look and see. In our lab, we've got Amazon AWS, we've got Microsoft Azure, and we've got VMware vCenter, which is an on-premise cluster running and managed by Morpheus. As you see, It'll give us a brief overview of what's running in each of the different clouds. As far as integrations go, Morpheus offers a lot of other different types of integrations as well. If we hop over to administration and take a look at our integrations screen, we'll see that we have a few more that are running in our lab environment. We've got an Ansible Tower integration. We've got uh, GitLab, which is integrated to pull some of our other Ansible playbooks. We've got Jenkins integrated to be able to kick off and run Jenkins jobs upon provisioning. We've got Nexus that holds our Docker images and we have ServiceNow which is our ITSM and CMDB as well as Service Desk and Workflow Engine. ServiceNow can also act as part of your cloud provisioning portal um, as a self-service type of portal and so we can quickly hop over and take a look and see that there is a Morpheus plug-in into ServiceNow that can allow you to get access to the Morpheus service catalog and provision different types of services straight from ServiceNow. We're not going to get in that today. We'll save that for part two, but just know that that is a very robust integration. Um, as far as other integrations, there are different types of backup tools that we can integrate into Morpheus. Avamar, Comfall, Veeam, some of the more popular ones um, that you can integrate that are in addition to the types of backups and snapshots that are offered by the cloud native um, services from AWS and Azure and VMware. And so if you have, for example, Veeam or Comfall integrated, you could set that up as your backup target as the default in your blueprints or workflows for different types of apps and services. Speaking of blueprints, let's quickly take a look at a couple that we've set up. And blueprints allow you to do a basic one-click provision. And so you can set up the different types of things you want to allow users to provision and create and reduce the number of options even to zero if you want um, for what they have to um, configure when they go to kick off one of these. And so let's take a look at our Tomcat one, um, well, let's just go ahead and provision it. And then we can see that way. Okay, and what we can do on this screen is we can go ahead and add a new app from a blueprint by clicking on the Add button. And you'll see these are the blueprints we have defined. We're going to pick Tomcat Small. We're going to give it a name. Choose our group. Put it in the vCenter and in our dev environment. On this screen, we can go ahead and click next to provision, or we, if you needed to change anything, you could click here and drill down and take a look at the configuration items and change the thing. In this case, we don't want to, um, and we can also see a lot of these have locks beside them. So in the blueprint for this particular um, 
Tomcat VM, we don't want the user to be able to change any of these um, options, and so we locked in. Um, cool, we don't want to change anything, so let's go ahead and click Next. You can see it gives you an estimated price um, for what this is going to cost per month. For VMware, this is something that's custom in Morpheus. They can be changed um, in the Morpheus tool. For clouds like AWS and Azure, um, those are pulled in automatically, and when they're updated in those clouds, then Morpheus gets those updated numbers and presents them to you on the screen. All right, we're going to go ahead and say complete, and then we're going to watch it provision. And the team is going to start going, and that's going to go reach out to the vCenter and start the uh, provisioning over there on the vCenter side. And then you can watch it from here, or you can hop back over to your operations dashboard and take a look at it, at it there. So let's hop over to vCenter and see how Tammy is doing. Uh, it looks like Tammy is finished provisioning. She's running. Looks like she's got VMware tools installed, everything. All right, let's hop back over to uh, Morpheus. Refresh. And there she is. So if we drill down into Tammy, she's a Tomcat app. One of the things we can do is notice the monitoring. It pulls in the different stats from vCenter, CPU, memory, and storage. It also can set up health checks. Um, based on if it's a web app, and hit a URL. That's what it's doing in this case. So we went out here just to check it. There's the web page for Tammy, and that's what um, gives us a nice green check there for the help. We can set up all different kinds of help checks for different applications. So this is just one example. All right, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching.